I was in the wonderfully fortunate and unfortunate position this past two weeks. Um, we found out we're moving. Very exciting. We're, we're so excited to move into a larger growing space. Um, but unfortunately, I have to figure out what to do with all my plants in the backyard. So I have been digging them up and transplanting them to the middle school garden. Right now it's pretty easy. They're all dormant, so I can just kind of dig them up and shake all of the dirt off the roots and just transplant them in the hole of the middle school garden. They should be fine. Um, but there was a um, black velvet gooseberry that I cut some more roots off than I felt comfortable with. And I, well, I'm not sure if it'll survive. And even if it does, I sh should probably trim the top growth until the roots get reestablished. So I had all of these extra black velvet gooseberry cuttings. I wanted to do something with them. Here they are. Uh, my plan is to cut them up into these six inch segments plant them in potting soil and let them root and then when they've developed roots come spring I can move them outside. I've cut them up I've made sure to maintain that same orientation so you can see here this was the top of the branch that I cut up and I made sure to leave them all the bottom of the branches here and then the top half up here and of course I'm going to put the bottom in the soil and leave the top sticking out. I filled pots with a really generic potting mix from miracle Grow. It's probably one of the only non-organic things I use currently, and that's only because I really did not like the performance of the organic potting mix from the store. So we're using this until I have the space at the new property to start making my own. I'm taking the cuttings and taking the bottom half of the cutting, and I'm pushing it into the soil, and I'm aiming to go about two-thirds down so most of the cutting is in the soil a little bit sticking up and I really want to get at least two of these nodes one and two I want to get at least two nodes in the soil I can't hurt to have three in I uh, still had a little space after planting all of the gooseberries so I went out and cut some grape cuttings off of a grapevine that also needs to be moved. These the nodes are more spread out, but I wanted to keep three nodes on each cutting, two to go under the soil and then one to stay above the soil. Here they all are, and now I can go ahead and mark what's in there and their varieties. I'm gonna give these a deep water and they should be ready to go. I have a few concerns about this project uh, that I'm recording mostly for myself, but maybe you can, you'll follow along in my update video and uh, if you have some maybe answers for my concerns, I'd love to hear them. The one concern is that um, they might be too closely spaced. I, I really wanted to maximize these pots and I think, you know, they'll start to develop small root systems that I could somewhat easily start to separate um, in just a, a couple months before they get any bigger. But maybe that'll be harder to separate than I think right now. My other concern is that from everything I've read about propagating hardwood cuttings, you want warm bottoms and cold tops. So ideally I would put them in an unheated garage where the temperatures are like 40, 50 over the winter, and I would underneath them put like a seed starting mat or maybe even like a, a hot pad for your body or something, an electric hot pad. Um, that way they're in the garage so the tops are pretty cold and the bottoms are warm from the mat. But my concern, I don't have a unheated garage. The next property I will have something like that. Um, so right now I'm putting them in my basement for the next few days as it's really cold outside with the mat underneath them. And then when it starts to warm up next week in the 40s, I'll leave them outside as much as possible. I don't want them to break dormancy. If they stay in my basement for the next few weeks, I think they're going to start sending out leaves because they think it's spring. So we'll see. I will keep you updated.